Hey crafty YouTube friends, it's Rena, and if I sound a little funny today, it's because I have really bad allergies going on. Um, I skipped a day of my medication and it really messed me up. So, um, so this week I had colored up about six My Bestie images, and then I started getting this weird feeling like maybe these were images I wasn't supposed to use, so I, um, I was on the phone with Sherry, she said send her a picture, I sent her a picture, and she's like, nope, can't use any of those yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to quick pull something together and I was going to make a card, but then I decided not to make it a card. So here it is. Definitely not my colors, but I like how it turned out. I used this cute little rubber stamp. I believe Sherry has this in digital as well, um, but you'll have to check out her store. And um, I picked my papers. These are from the Prima... Sunkissed, I think it's called collection, and it has um, you could see it has daisies on the paper. And there's a little daisy up here, um, and then it has this kind of teal paper that goes with it. So I colored up my little girl in teal and gave her blonde hair so she'd go really well with this particular paper line. And I started with this shaped car shaped piece back here, and then I did my layering. Um, I popped up my image. Um, and I popped up this layer as well to give it more dimension. I did a nice little flower cluster with a lot of daisies and chrysanthemums, um, some rolled flowers there, but different varieties of daisies and chrysanthemums. Um, I used this pretty lace that was gifted to me by P. Thanks, P. And it comes down here, and then I used it here to hang this from and I also used it up here to hang my wall hanging so up here I followed a tutorial I had seen um, on Neen's page on how to do these flowers with your ribbon um, or your twine or string or what have you and I didn't obviously make it a flower but I liked how it looked when I tried to make it a bow so I did that. Thanks, Neen. <laughs> um, I used one of the adorable butterflies. Oops, sorry, guys. Um, from Angelica's Little Scrap Shop. Um, I love her butterflies. So, so pretty. And she has so many different styles. I mean, you can see I'm a very shabby girl, and I use a lot of her butterflies. But as you can see, she has colors that aren't um, exactly shabby also. So um, I kind of mimicked my, my bow at the top here, not to the same extreme. Um, but anyway, I decided I was going to make a card, and then I decided, no, I'm not. So I did some more layering. I added some chipboard because I wanted this to be a wall hanging. I wanted it to be more sturdy. I used a Martha Stewart uh, punch around the page. And then I hung this little banner piece from it. Another inspiration I got from Neen. Love her banners. Um, her ban she does banners on everything, so um, I'm kind of getting addicted to that look. And then I did another flower cluster here, and then it says "Live, Love, Laugh." So let me let me try to pull. Well, I'm not gonna. Let me, let's see. I can do it like that. There we go. So that is my design team project for the My Besties YouTube design team this week. Wish I could show you the whole thing because it's really cute with this hanging at the top. So there you go. I hope you liked it. I hope you get a little inspiration um, to go kind of outside your comfort zone. And you don't always have to go with what you start out planning to do. Things can evolve. Let your creating evolve and, um, you know, just let it flow and, you know, just enjoy whatever you're doing. Um, you know, I, I can't, um, I can't tell you enough how many times I have started wanting to do a certain thing and then ending up doing something completely different. And it turns out even better than what I, what I had imagined when I started. So have a happy scrappy Sunday. Sundays are now my new um, day to do my, uh, my videos for my besties. And um, I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.